we now return to the Transformers. Welcome back to Rise of the Transformers Week, where I do nothing but rip and tear and unbox some of the coolest Transformers that I have found. And this one is another cool one, boys. We have the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Autobot Slammer. He looks pretty good. I own six gun. I own one of those guys. One of the uh, red cog. I have red cog, and I think that's the only weaponizer I own. But I wanted this guy for a while. So let's see what we've got today with this wondrous fella. So another kingdom figure. I love this toy line. It's been nothing but good. From the Beasties to the Autobots, it's been great. And I'm glad that they're continuing that style with Transformers Legacy, which is my all-time favorite toy line now. Okay, so there he is, looking snazzy, looking swish. We got our golden disc card. He's got his weapon in there. Let's see what kind of card we get this time. We got ourselves, ah, this is my third Dinobot card. Might be my fourth. Uh, I don't know what stickers on it. I forgot to do this with the Unicron one. Dynamus. When are we getting a Dynamus figure, Hasbro? <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, I don't think we need one, but if we do, I, I'm fine with that. So Slammer, who is Slammer? Slammer, if I remember correctly, is an action figure accessory that came with the original G1 Metroplex figure. And this is kind of neat because I have Scamper from my 30, uh, 30 years Metroplex, Thrilling 30, and I do not have the helicopter guy. I think his name is Six Gun. I think that one's, yeah, that one's named Six Gun. I do not have that one, but... Pretty solid for a weaponizer, a lot better than Red Cog. Okay. There we go, we'll extend that. You can customize the heck out of this guy. All right. Whoa. Okay, how would I customize it? I don't know, but this is looking cool. I like how he looks. It looks neat. Neat Autobot. I guess I could just put these. No. There's a cool customization I saw on this guy once, and I can't for the life of me remember how it went. But maybe. I put these little wheels, treads, excuse me, treads together. There we go. Oh, okay, I remember now. Okay, so the treads go like this. Boom. On the little thing on his back. Put them on his arm. I think this is how the customization went. I cannot be certain. But it was a neat customization. Very neat. Get his gun out from back here. There we go. Pop it on his back. That looks alright. Not too sure how to do this. I haven't made a custom like Autobot design like this, but since he's a tank bot, let's see. Let's move the tank turret thing over here. There we go. Uh, where, where would I put this? So, okay. I'm sorry guys, this is just a Fun little thing, customizing your Transformers like this. Uh, I 
think this might be it. Well, here's one of them. This is another idea you could do. Looks neat. Yeah, I'm not too sure how to work this thing. But it could be a fun little transformation fun. Uh, if I had more weaponry lying around, I could. I can make something out of this. I know I can. Because I always like it when Transformers have that shoulder pylon look with like all the stuff coming off their back, like War Within Optimus Prime, uh, Crosshair Productions' Cybertronian Optimus design had a pretty neat look to it where it was Prime with um, all that, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, I think I figured it out. Okay, that's one way to do it. There you go. This is a weird robot. Kind of dig it though. So if we give him this look. There we go. So we kind of have that shoulder pylon look that I'm talking about, like that. Stuff on the back. That kind of works, I suppose. Uh, again, I'm not too sure how I'm supposed to handle this guy. But this is a fun little transformer. Oh, it's... I wonder what I would break first, your spirit or your body? <laughs> <laughs> I forget he does that. <laughs> Darth POV, you Darth Maul in Phantom, at the end of Phantom Menace. <laughs> but... This is a wonderful little Transformer. Another Autobot for my shelf, because Lord forbid I have enough Autobots right now. So yeah, that was the rip and tear unboxing of Autobot Slammer from Transformers uh, Kingdom. And this has been another installment of the rise of the Transformers unboxing series that I'm doing. So I hope you all enjoyed, if you liked this video, Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and who knows, maybe I might squeeze a review of this guy, or one of the many guys that I have today. Well, today, I unboxed him and Pipes the same day, but these will go up. Uh, his legs fell off like he's on the beaches of Normandy. I almost gave him a left leg on his right side. Okay, hold well, still. I now know why I don't go after weaponizers too much, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, there we go. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think, consider subscribing to my channel. I will be uploading more Transformer Rip and Tears, and hey, who knows? Maybe I might upload some Star Wars stuff if they actually put stuff out that comes out this year not next year or it's a Walmart exclusive being a Star Wars collector is painful sometimes but being a Transformer collector is great so I'll see you guys in the next video take care and remember the Transformers will return after these messages